It's a major uh, story uh, out Greg, today. And Greg, and a major it. story. And it's a it's a story that people, quite frankly, is uncomfortable talking about. And man, I really that. love some Rick and Bubba. Intruder alert! Shall I annihilate them, sir? Come on, Bert. Let him in. Access granted. Dude, what's up? You nearly gave me a heart attack. Please call before you come so I know it's not you instead of the YouTube police. Speak of the devil. This is the YouTube police. You have been charged with several fake news charges. We have a warrant for your digital arrest. Open this door or we'll bust through. Well, it's off to Mexico for us. Bird! Initiate annoying protocol. The Fitness Gram Pacer Test is a multi-stage aerobic capacity test that progressively gets more difficult as it continues. That should hold him down for now. Anyway, <laughs> welcome back to Engines of TVRM, and in today's episode, we will be talking about Nashville, Chattanooga, and St. Louis, GP7, numbered 710. Now stand aside, dummy. I'm going to get a running start at that door. Uh, please make sure and subscribe and hit the notification bell! It's totally free. Hey! Shouldn't you, shouldn't you be protecting us? Security mode phase 2 activated. One. Two. And let's head into the video right now. FBI, open up! In the year 1950, EMD, or the Electromotive Division of General Motors, took down an order for a set of 37 GP7s for the Nashville, Chattanooga, and St. Louis Railway. The NCN signal, or commonly called the Dixie Line, served the hearts of Tennessee, Kentucky, Alabama, and Georgia for more than a century. Those said GP7s were numbered 700 to 731 and 750 to 754. Number 710 will be the ninth engine from that order. 710 was built in September of that year, that same year and of that same year and was immediately put into put into service all over the NC and St. L system, replacing its old and tired steam locomotives. In 1957, the Louisville and Nashville merged with the NC and St. L. So 710 was renumbered to LN 478 and hauled freight trains across the LN's vast system for 21 years. In, in 1978, Amtrak purchased the 478. 478 was numbered to 772, painted in Amtrak's pumpkin paint scheme, and was put into service in charge of maintenance of way trains on Amtrak's Northeast Corridor from Washington, D.C. to Boston, Massachusetts. Amtrak also converted the 772 to a GP9, now boosting 1,750 horsepower. Amtrak got good old use out of the old 772. She served Amtrak for 26 years. In 2004, TVRM purchased the old 772 from Amtrak, thus retiring an old NC and St. L Jeep for a long, buried 54-year career in revenue service. TVRM wasted no time in restoring 772. She was then repainted into original NC and St. L paint and renumbered to her original road number. Ever since then, 710 has been, an, has been a staple of T, in TVRM's motive power fleet, whether it be hauling the Chickamauga, the Chickamauga Turn or the Missionary Ridge Local. And now for technical specs. 710 holds a weight of 259,500 pounds, a power output of 1,750 horsepower, and it is powered by an MD 560, 567C prime mover. The engine is equipped with a Leslie RS5T-RRO horn. Here's a few samples by our newest member, the Anon Railfan, or now known as the Southeast Railfan. 
buddy i promise you we're going to put you in the next video just please wait this video is needed to be quickly done Nashville, Chattanooga, and St. Louis 710 has had a long and colorful life, going from wearing a beautiful paint scheme to being a workhorse for the LNN to wearing what, in my opinion, is the ugliest of Amtrak's paint schemes. Now, 710 enjoys a quiet retirement, serving TVRM as a member of its diesel fleet and living out her days in preservation. Now, we can only wait for 710 and his 576 to double head showing off their NC and St. L heritage. Regardless, 710 is a vital member of the fleet of TVRM, the Tennessee Valley Railroad Museum. Thank you for watching this episode of Engines of TVRM. We hope that you enjoyed it. We apologize for this episode taking four months to make. Well, stay tuned for the next episode when we discuss Southern Railway GP30 2594. Whoa, 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 Aiden. Uh, while you were doing this, I actually found out there was another steam locomotive that operated at TVRM. So yeah, we're going to do one of these. And maybe after this we can do 2594. You know what that means!